seconds. It's got him, net that. Welcome to the highlights of the first one day international between Sri Lanka and South Africa in the Royal Stag Cricket Gear Cup 2014. Crashed away on the offside for four. That's nicely played by the cock. Well, he'll enjoy it. It was the ball that was leaving him and also short and wide. Malinga, so often the difference between a couple of teams. Unless it's Malinga, that's punched down the ground nicely by the cock for four runs. Finally controlled. It's a good sound of leather on below for the cock. Short that time in front of square on the leg side, an indication of how slow this track is. Plenty of time for Amla to punch that away for a boundary. Shot. Beautifully played. Talented Quinton de Kock. Oh, threw him. Just a little bit of spin. Timed well enough, too, to get to the boundary. Got him! Drags it on from outside off. Angelo Matthews strikes. He's twice beaten, indiscretion coming with uh, Quinton de Kock, looking to try and force him on the offside, that inside edge. Huge shot and he's gone. Past the edge as he tried to work it left side. Callas and he's struck in front. Gone for none. It's two quick ones for Sri Lanka. Beautifully played square on the offside. That's a nice shot. He's such a wonderful player, this man. He has superb balance. Uh, nice shot down the ground, hard into the ground, and Amla picks up a boundary. Over the top this time, that's a beautiful shot. One bounce, four runs, nicely played. That's another fine shot by him. Took the aerial route this time, over extra cover for four. Beautifully struck. Just that's the type of cat that Sri Lankans really need. This is a Pereira, the guy who's missed it, and that brings up Amla's half century. And that's smacked away for four, hit it with a firm hand. That's four, beautifully. That's four. That is four. That's Amla for you, hitting it on the up and between extra cover and mid off. Of improvisation there from uh, Abu de Villiers. That really is quite special. He is very talented, this man. Barton down the track. He doesn't do that much. Nuan Kulasekra. There's uh, a single to bring up another one day international 50 for Abu de Villiers. There we go. There's a slow ball. That's good thinking. But it's been hammered away for four of the offside. That's a nice shot. Beautifully picked up by Abu de Villiers. Back over the bowler's head, he's hit that beautifully, that's gone a long way. What a nice shot that is, and what a big over for South Africa in the end. After four very good deliveries first up, it goes for 14, 182 for two. Good shot. That really is a nice shot, opening the blade again. This time it's A.B. De Villiers who decides to go airborne for half a dozen. Beautiful shot from A.B. Advancing, what a shot that is. That is just a classic off drive. Terrific use of the feet from A.B. de Villiers. Hit him on the offside. Out caught, that's the wicket they wanted. They got the break through. And that's a big wicket indeed. Last ball, the 36th over.
to them we are the hundred coming up for Hashim Mabla. Applause for the dressing room as well. What a fine hundred this has been. Hashim Mabla sort of kept this batting together and uh, in fact has been uh, really the catalyst in the partnerships and also in this innings. What a fine innings this has been. Following it up with the hundred in the previous game and uh, continuing to maintain this great run of form. There's Amla pulling that on the outside. Down to a deep mid wicket boundary. Easy pickings for Amla. And that's boundary bringing up his 105. Once again, showing what good form Amla is in. And at the same time, showing how good this pitch is. Ah! Big shot for Amla. No, the finger comes up. Well, there we are. So, uh, Azad Mendes has struck once again in his final over. That's the record that the Sri Lankans wanted. Yes, Azad Mendes has struck once again. Namla shuffling across, looking to try and hit it on the on side, working on the sweep. That ball pitched in line, hit him low on the front foot, though there was no stride at all. And I think uh, it was heading straight for the stumps. So five innings come to an end. Namla out here with up to Mendes. For 109, South Africa 239 for four. Hey. Oh, is it taken? I think it is. Bilshan is the fieldsman. Sri Lanka making inroads at vital times. JP Domini is a big wicket to have. And uh, Dilakarasa Bilshan. What a fantastic fielder he is. Just take a look at it. It was low, and his hands underneath it made it look easy. Good wickets again. And good timing as well. Dumini has got for 16. So that look at 249 for five. Short, beautiful. Short allows him to play across it with a horizontal back McLaren and he puts it away for four that's four now that is a rare boundary again coming off the middle of the bat the ball pitched up and in the right zone to sweep that's four more that is sensible that is very good cricket indeed to end the over 14 runs off the over a big one for South Africa 275 for five This is good batting. This is very good batting indeed. He's gone all the way for six. This is Miller for you. Now, this is what he can do. He can be very dangerous once he's in. Uh, this is down to mid wicket. He'll go all the way for four. So, South African batsman making maximum use now. Oh, this is a brilliant shot. It's gone over extra cover for six. Goodness me, that is a brilliant shot by Miller. This is Miller at his best. Here is the last ball. What will McLaren do? Go straight over the bowler's head. May not get to the boundary. But they'll at least look to come back for the third. Good piece of work by Tirimana. They'll come back for three. Good running. It's a good finish by South Africa. 304 for five. And uh, they have uh, definitely profited particularly in the last five overs. And uh, McLaren just going over the top on that occasion. And 53 runs in the last five overs. The South Africans couldn't have asked for anything better than that. Yeah, excellent work. It really was between Miller and McLaren. Excellent batting by Hashim Amla, 109 from 130 for him, started slowly but hung in there and managed to get himself another century. A good start given to South Africa by Quinton de Kock and then, well, Cullis going out pretty cheaply, no runs at all for the big man. A.B. de Villiers, 75 from 70, played really well. It was on a bit of a knife edge that innings until David Miller, 36 not out and Ryan McLaren put on 50 at the back end to get South Africa to 304 for five.
The bowling, well, Malinga just seven overs, none for 52 as well, uncharacteristically expensive. Kula Sekra was economical but couldn't get breakthrough. Senanaika one for 49, economical and got that wicket. Matthews provided the breakthrough for the Sri Lankans and it was Mendes three for 61 who got quite a few wickets but would probably feel that he was more expensive than he'd have liked. The part-time is bowling quite a bit as well. Priyanjan and Dilshan, 11 overs between them. Let's crack that away. That's a nice shot. That's beautifully played. That really is a good stroke indeed. Whipped away. What a shot. Has it gone for six? No, it hasn't. Not too many in World Cricket do that to Dalstein. Trucks that away as well. That's another magnificent stroke. Such a small margin fair on the surface. Fine. Four. Runs are coming at the moment. Beautifully played. Loves the win. Tilikaratne Dilshan, he'll cut anything. No, oh, is he taken? I think he is. Kusal Pereira is standing his ground. The umpires are going to talk. Well, well, the South African fielders think that it is uh, a clean catch. Let's see. Oh, look at the business end. Yep, that's a catch. No trouble whatsoever. Fingers under the ball, hits it from some distance away as well, from the ground, that is. There's confirmation. Michel Pereira has played quite well. It's gone. And it's Vernon Filada who makes the breakthrough. Courtesy of a morning ball catch, a good one too. Gone for 34, it's 50 for one. Sangakar on strike. Oh, what timing. What timing that is. Leather hitting Willow and just raced away to the boundary. A shot. Beautifully played. Oh, this one, a lovely shot from Dilshan. Absolutely a beauty from Dilshan. Another fine shot by Dilshan. Again, he's at the feet, taking it on the full. In the air for a while. But the wide of the field and brings this uh, crowd alive. Another full toss and pulled away by Dilshan. And that's over significant. One more boundary to end the over. So 13 completed. Sri Lanka 86 for one. Again, the player. I mean, he's caught behind this time. Well, he's got the edge. And uh, Morty Morkel realized that Dilshan was chasing it outside the line of off-stop. Uh, this time a little bit extra bounce and Dilshan have already got the edge. And uh, Dilshan's gone. Down the left side, a man a miss. By Steve Davis. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, signals off the back, in fact, that's four runs. straight away good start from Quinton the cock that was a thick edge nicely taken by the cock and that is so important for South Africa Tahir back in the lineup healthy Nick and has broken a partnership that really was threatening on the back foot it was a particularly good ball but it's uh, a Nick and it's a sharp catch and have a look at Tahir he is celebrating but I think that's got a lot to do with relief after getting a pacing in his first couple of overs so Tahir has struck, and Jay Wardner goes for 10, 122 for three now. That's nicely played. Timing, all oh, timing. A man in fine form, Sangakara gets four more. Now what happened here? Now this is highly unnecessary from a from Ashan Priyanjan's point of view. What was he trying to do? 
And a simple catch to Jacques Callis, hitting across the turn. Oh, beautiful. That is beautiful through mid-wicket. All his pads are on the leg stuck. And Sakakara with the angle, just hitting it through mid-wicket. That's a play fine to run down to the boundary. Useful runs for the Sri Lankan captain. Played. That's Sakakara's 50 and also the 150 of Sri Lanka. A fine effort by the Sri Lankan left-hander. He's continuing his prolific form. Oh, and it's off the edge, he's gone. That's the wicket they wanted. That's a big one for South Africa. And Sri Lanka could have ill-afforded to lose their captain. Angelo Matthews knows that his wicket is a big one. Catches the call and through the gap. It was just short enough. In the air and over. And it's gone for four. Oh, Amy De Villiers stretched every sinew but couldn't get there. What a start to the power play. Sharp, beautifully done, just to help sit along with the angle. It's gone fine, too fine for more Morgan is that long leg. And so three in a row. Sived away and gone for four. Made room for himself, Sangakara. Got the desired result. 50 partnership comes up as well. McLaren. Pull him! Gets the breakthrough then, McLaren. The two things change. It's Tirimana who goes. Sangakara still out there though. Sangakara going for the big shot. Straight up in the air and gone. Two strikes in one over for Ryan McLaren. He went for three in a row, three fours in a row, but he gets his own back here. It's a huge wicket that. Chop that on. There's another one. So the wickets are tumbling pretty quickly now. Really good stuff by South Africa getting right back in this game. Yes, yeah, not good from Sri Lanka, but all you need to do is give South Africa a gap and they take it. Beautifully bowled. Terrific stuff. That's the wrong one. Disturb the furniture, Ray Imran Tahir. Big smiles from the skipper. Big smiles from Imran Tahir. Not from the crowd here in the Premadasa. And he's now picked up his third. Down the track. He's had a go at that and he's had a long way. That's a good shot. Nicely played. No point messing around, I suppose, at this stage. It's in the air, it should be out, McLaren's underneath this, it's in the air for a long time, has he taken the catch? Yes, he has. There it is, it's all over, South Africa won this first game, it really has been an outstanding performance from the visitors, fitting also that Ryan McLaren has taken that last catch after the good work that he did with the bat, then getting the two wickets in, the one over, and now wrapping it up with the catch, but that's a really good performance by South Africa in tough conditions in this country. They faltered Sri Lanka, they started off really well though. Pereira with 34 from 33 in a good partnership with Tilika Ratna Dilshan who got 40 from 46. It was Kumar Sangakara though who looked like he might take them home. A couple of wickets, well in quick succession, three balls it was it. And they were all well, just about done. Not much else coming from the rest of the order. Priyanjan, Matthews, Tirimana all struggling then the bowlers not in it to bat as you can see from that scorecard 229 all out with just about 10 overs still left for them to bat now look at the bowling south africa well they hung in there because they were put under pressure by kumar sangakara two for 38 for stain one for philander two for 39 for mornay morkel mclaren with that crucial over 
two for 33 to him. And Imran Tahir, who didn't start so well, three for 50 in the end. And Dumini with five overs, none for 24. They'll be happy with that because they got the job done.